Hello everyone, this is Forest Lee from Shenzhen 3NH. This time I'm going to show you our new spectrophotometer TS7036. Here is the case, the menu, and a certificate. This is the main unit. Switch it on here. And this is the calibration cavity. When we turn on the instrument, the first thing is calibration. Calibration. Black calibration first. Press the mirror button. And then white calibration. Okay, the calibration is finished. The instrument is ready for measurement. First, we measure sample A as a standard. And then we go to sample interface to measure sample B. Okay, this is a testing result. It shows sample B compared to sample A. Sample B is whiter, is redder, and yellower. You can see the two samples. Although they are two, they are both red. Sample A is dark red, sample B is light red. They are, com they are different. Delta E, delta E value is 6.11. Uh, it means the color difference is too large, it's uh, very obvious. Okay, a slide to check the reflectance rate you can check the reflectance curve, reflectance rate at different wavelengths. Go to the menu. Many functions here. Data management, calibration, illuminant, and color space. Color space you can choose as you need different color spaces. Color index, different color formulas here. And different color index, yellowness, whiteness, opacity, color fastness, and metamoric. Okay, settings. These are auto settings. Pay attention here, pay attention here. Aperture size. Aperture size, there are three options, four, five, uh, four millimeter, eight millimeter, and uh, automatic, A. Remember this. You choose eight millimeter. Here it shows MAV, and uh, here is eight millimeter. This three point, this three point must be con Consistent. This here eight. This MAV here eight. This four millimeter. This SAV. It shows SAV here, and four here. This three point. This three point must be consistent. Pay attention this to this. Okay, that's all about it.